D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my week in review, where I come to you every Sunday, and I usually do three TV shows, uh, and I tell you about the movies, and then I tell you about uh, three news stories. And but I'm going to again only do just I'm only going to talk about Supergirl this week, just because um, <clears throat> um, a lot of the shows I watch are ending. And I got to pick up some new shows, and plus, I've said it before, but I do have a family, and uh, I have to take care of them, uh, namely my children. So, uh, uh, watching TV shows can be uh, kind of a task a little bit sometimes. Um, so, the first thing I want to talk about is on Supergirl. Um, in this episode, we uh, it's called uh, uh, Not Kansas, and we saw... Um, uh, Supergirl bring back that stone, and we saw Rain being separated from Sam, <clears throat> which I was kind of happy about because I'm kind of annoyed with the whole Sam and Rain storyline. I just want it to be over with. I, I don't care for it, and if it goes away right now, that'd be great. But there's only two episodes left, so um, we'll see what happens. We also saw Kara then go back to Argo City, um, where she spent time with her mother and, and everything. Um, and she, there was some goings on between Celine and her followers. And then at the end of the episode, we saw Celine uh, take a uh, uh, car ship and bring it back to Earth with some of her followers and um, and every and all that good stuff. So um, so then moving on to movies. Um, so the the three movies that are coming out, the the biggest movies that are coming out this weekend are. Uh, Ocean's 8, which I think will probably do the best out of these three, um, Hotel Artemis, and Hereditary. Um, I'm interested mostly in seeing Ocean's 8. Um, I mean, um, I don't really have anything against any of them. I'm not just, uh, they just, I mean, like, in all honesty, I'm probably not going to see any of them just because, like I said, uh, to see a movie, it kind of takes some time because uh, I have a family and everything. Um, but I do want to get into the news, <clears throat> and if any of you have noticed, and I've noticed, and I've tried to, to get to as many as I can, but a lot of trailers have been dropping this week from the studios. And a lot of people are wondering why. In fact, this is, I think, this is the, the largest set of trailers I've seen drop in a long time in one week. And it's just because, you, uh, basically, it's like uh, movies that are coming out. For instance, Jurassic World came out in uh, foreign box offices. Uh, and, um, and we, and I'm here in America, won't get to see it until the 22nd. So if you wanted your trailer to play in front of that movie, you need to draw, you need to release it now and let people see it. Like you need to get it online and everything, and then you, they'll because it'll be in the movie theater. Um, so just like Incredibles is coming out this weekend, so they, you know, that's why we got a lot of animated ones. We got um, uh, Lego Movie Two, um, How to Train Your Dragon, and um, and uh, Spider Man uh, Enter the Spider Verse. So and those probably will play in front of Incredibles too. <clears throat> And that's just because uh, uh, we're getting, you know, these movies coming out uh, uh, pretty fast. I mean, the summer is basically like every weekend you got a big movie coming out. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Kellyanne Tran, um, who was uh, in Star Wars The Last Jedi, and um, she played Hope. Um, she has left Twitter because she's had to deal with some uh, racist tweets and um, some pretty... Uh, let me just say right now, if you go online and you look, at, uh, some people said some really, some not really nice things to say about her and on, on social media. And she's left Twitter, she's left social media, I believe, um, and everything. And um, some stuff wasn't like bad, but for the most part, it was, it was some people were just a little bit um, rough about stuff. And a lot of people blamed her for her her character in uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. They, they they the fandom took it out on her. And let me just say right now, um, I didn't like Hope, the character in The Last Jedi. I didn't like her character, um, but uh, I didn't like the way she looked either. I thought that they made her look worse than how Kelly and uh, Tran looks. Um, why did I say Anne? It's Marie. It, it, Kelly Marie Tran. Um, but I don't like the 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 way she looked in the movie. I think they, they, the clothes they gave her made her look bad, and and then the, her haircut made her look bad. Also, I think she's. I think in real life she's totally adorable. But on that movie, I was just like, yeah, they made her look, in my opinion, awful. Um, but so um, and then, but one thing I did question was 
she did know that she can block these people, right? Because, I mean, like, if, if somebody says something negative you about anyone on Twitter, you just block them, and then you don't have to deal with it anymore. And I mean, like, and I don't know about you, but if somebody blocked me, I wouldn't go out of my way to start a new Twitter account just so I could go back and mess with that person. That's not how I am. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some people out there, but that's just weird. Um, but yeah, so I mean, why? I, I mean, like, I'm not blaming her for it, but if you block them, then that's something you don't have to deal with at the end of, uh, you know, later on down the road. And I wish she, it, I don't know if she did do it or not. I'm just, I'm just asking the question. And I, I, I do feel really bad for her because it sucks that, uh, that, People blame her for something that's really not her fault. So the next thing I want to talk about is um, Game of Thrones. They released that they are going to be doing, um, for their prequel series after Game of Thrones finishes, they're going to do the Age of Heroes. Um, and I think this is a really great idea. This is set, I believe, 5,000 years uh, before uh, uh, the story of Ice and Fire, so Game of Thrones, uh, what we would know now. So it really kind of sets up this whole um, world that we haven't seen before, but it also gives us a chance to, to uh, A, maybe see uh, how the houses began um, and then also we don't uh, have to, to it's, it's set so far in the past that we don't have to worry about it I think uh, affecting uh, the Game of Thrones show that we know of today I mean there are some things that will affect it but I don't think it's uh, you know if uh, if you're not somebody that reads the books that it will be like you know crazy or anything like that because sometimes if some people set stuff beforehand and they set it too close to the present uh, story that that people find f like holes in it and but I think this is set so far uh, in the past that I think it'll do good um, I'll probably watch it just because I do watch Game of Thrones um, I do think I have some problems with Game of Thrones. I think it's kind of jumped the shark, but it's on its last season, so I'm going to watch it and just get it out of the way. Um, the next story I want to talk about is um, the Penguin, and, and one of the producers of the Batman, uh, uh, the Batman movie, uh, the standalone Batman movie um, that will be directed by Matt Reeves. Um, it, one of the rumor, he's, rumors is that Penguin will be uh, the villain of that movie. And you have to take this with a big old bag of grain of salt kind of thing. Just because um, it, it's, it, it really, the, the producer said that uh, to take it with a grain of salt that uh, Penguin would be the villain in the new Batman movie. Because that's, that's exactly what he said. Um, but I think you gotta take it with a big old bag of salt because, uh, we really don't uh, know what, if he will be. And I don't think that's a good idea to make Penguin the bad guy of your standalone Batman movie. I mean, you know, whether or not you like Jared Leto as the Joker, he should be your bad guy because that's his nemesis. But, um, Josh Gad, there's been a rumor that Josh Gad will be playing, um, the Penguin. And um, I like Josh Gad. I think he's a good actor. And then also Andy Serkis has said he would like to be in a uh, comic book movie. Um, and I think, and a lot of people have been saying that uh, Andy Serkis would be a great Penguin. Um, and some people have drawn up some fan art to see him as the Penguin. And I think Andy Serkis is a, a very competent and talented actor. So I would, I would gladly see a movie that, um, that he, if, if he was the, the bad guy in that one. So for my last story, I just want to say um, it, it has been said that uh, confirmed that Jared Leto will star in a Joker standalone movie. And I don't know if this is the right choice. I mean, Walter Hamada has really, I think that, I thought he was supposed to rein stuff in over there at DC and Warner Brothers as far as uh, the DCEU goes. And basically it just sounds like he's just saying yes to everything in my book. I mean, because if you look at this, we're going to have a, a standalone, this new standalone uh, a Joker movie. Uh, then there's a, a Joker Origins movie. Um, and that will be uh, directed by Martin Scorsese, uh, you know, maybe. Um, then there's going to be a Suicide Squad 2 movie, which uh, will obviously have Harley Quinn in it and probably the Joker because he was in the last one, if you remember the last scene from that one. Um, then there's supposed to be a Birds of Prey movie, which I'm, I'm Harley Quinn is also in that one, so I'm pretty sure Joker will be in that one. Um, then you'll have the Joker and Harley Quinn movie, which I think that that one probably has the... Uh, the most uh, promise, I think, out of all these movies that I just listed um, and everything. And I just, I, it makes me wonder, what is Walter Hamada thinking? I mean, he's just, he's just saying yes to anything. And I'm, you can't just throw, you know, you, you just can't throw crap in a wall and see what sticks or whatever. You have to, I think that they should, you know, do what, M what Marvel is doing. And they should sit down and really think about what they need to do as far as every movie goes. And, and, um... 
I mean, you know, I am, I am, I am excited to see what the DCEU does. So, um, so what's coming up next, uh, next week? A look at the movies coming out, um, this week. I mean, the movies coming out next week. Um, you've got Incredibles 2, um, and, uh, which is the movie that I think is going to do the best. And I, the mo I'm, I'm super excited to see Incredibles 2. If you're not, you're crazy. Um, then, uh, Tag and Gotti. I'm not interested in Tag or Gotti. I know Tag is based off of a true story and I don't care. And Gotti is also based off of a true story and I also don't care. Um, but, uh, Incredibles 2, I'm, I'm down, you know what I'm saying? And from what I've, um, been seeing online just from, because the embargo lifts, uh, if you're watching this on Sunday, it, it lifts on Monday. Monday. But um, uh, from what I've been reading so far, it's it's good. It's really good. So, um, and then as far as TV shows go, um, of course, uh, Supergirl has two more episodes left. And the next one is uh, called uh, Let It Rain, I believe it was called. And um, and we sh we'll see what Celine does there and everything with her little uh, followers. And uh, But I really hope uh, it pulls it together because I'm not enjoying this season. Um, okay, well, so tell me what you thought of uh, the, the the stories that I show with you today. Um, are you excited about Game of Thrones? Um, how do you think about Kelly Marie Tran? Um, you know, have, did you watch all the trailers that were dropped? This, what do you think about the Joker stuff going down? Because I think it's too much. Do you think it's too much? Um, tell me what you thought about this video. If you could give me a like, that'd be great. Um, I would really appreciate it. If you don't hit the like button, if you could leave down in the comments what you didn't like about this video so okay, I can improve. Um, uh, if you are new to my channel, if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that and if you could share this video on your social media I would so appreciate that. I hope you guys have a great week and I will check you later next Sunday. All right, bye.